Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to be talking about sunscreens. Very, very popular, the best seller sunscreen from Clarence. Their UV Plus Anti-Pollution Multi-Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreens today. Now, to let you know, these sunscreens are designed for the face. This is not for the body. You know, you are gonna pay $45 for this little bottle, which is 50 milligrams, and you're gonna have to use it on the face, not for the body, just to let you know. And uh, uh, these bad boys come in different shades. They do have the non-tinted version of it that I do use on a regular basis. And they do have the light shade, they do have medium shade, and they also do have deep shade. So this is not foundation, just to let you know, you know, they don't have to create like 40 different shades in order to sell this product. This is sunscreen, just, you know, if you need a little bit of coverage, they also have made, you know, um, several different shades. So uh, this sunscreen comes with the anti-pollution complex. Clarence has their anti-pollution complex, that, you know, like a complex that they have, you know, kind of a sort of technology that they use in their skincare products, which pretty, pretty much, you know, protects your skin from the pollution. So all of these sunscreens contain anti-pollution complex. <laughs> I'm repeating myself here. So, and that they all come in SPF 50. This is the highest SPF that you can get. Just to let you know, there are so many skincare brands now they, you know, like uh, uh, market their products. Oh my God, SPF 100, SPF 150, it's like over. No, it's not gonna go over 50 guys. Just to let you know, be smart, you know, be, do your research because SPF 50 is the longest that you get when it comes to sunscreens. The number, uh, tells you the length of a sunscreen, not the strength. Clarence also say that, you know, these um, sunscreens protect your skin from free radical as well. You know, the blue lights or, you know, when you do use your computer, your phone, you do, your skin gets exposed to those, you know, harmful lights. So when you do use the sunscreen, it's gonna protect your skin as well. And they also claim that this is anti-aging. I don't know about it though, you know, like I don't necessarily see any ingredient that's gonna be anti-aging for the skin. No. Wait a second, using sunscreen is anti-aging already. So it's gonna protect your skin from aging. Sun is the one that, that's gonna age your skin. So meaning sunscreen itself is anti-aging. Yep, there you go. This is one of the most hydrating sunscreens that I have ever came across with. Like it is super hydrating to the skin, you know. If you do have a dry skin, you are gonna love this. I personally do have a dry skin, as you guys know, and whenever I do use sunscreens, they're always heavy, they're always drying, and they're very, like, hard, you know, like, it's hard to breathe with those kind of sunscreens. These sunscreens are also oil-free as well, so if you do have oily skin, and if you do, you know, have a little concern about oil, you know, products, this is a very safe option for you because these ones don't contain any mineral oil. So just to let you know about the price, by the way, this is $43. These sunscreens contain homosalate 4%, Osteocrylene 4%, oxybenzone 1.5, and titanium dioxide 8.4. The shades, like light, medium, deep shades, contain titanium dioxide 8.4, but the non-tinted one contains titanium dioxide 10.9. So the non-tinted one has a higher physical sunscreen. And I have no idea why they're like titanium dioxide is less with the tinted ones. That's interesting, yeah? Hmm. So this sunscreen is infused with the chemical and also physical sunscreens. So if you are very concerned about the riff, because I know some people are very particular about the sunscreens, which are safe for the riff. If you do live in the area where there is ocean, or you know, if you do live on an island, I do not recommend it, you know, if you're too concerned about the riff, because some people don't care. Some people are like, oh my God, I cannot wear sunscreen that has a, you know, uh, like let's say oxybenzone, which is harmful for the riff. But other than that, you know, like if you do live on the mainland and where there is no riff, where you're not concerned about, you know, like ocean life, I think this is something that you may want to check it out, you know, in the future and then see how you like it. I personally love this product. And just to let you know, by the way, 
I am wearing the light shade on my skin today. It looks super natural, super beautiful. It's so hydrating to the skin. Look how beautiful it looks though, you know? Mm. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> Because if I talk, I just keep rambling again and again. It's just crazy. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a great day. And I'm going to see you in my next video.